In the windswept highlands of Scotland, a genetic spark was born, one that would ignite the rarest fire in human eyes. This is the forgotten story of Scottish DNA and the mysterious rise of hazel eyes. What's the rarest eye color you've ever seen? Most people might say green, but hazel eyes, those mesmerizing irises that shimmer between brown, green, and gold, often leave us wondering how something so rare and complex comes to exist. Now here's the twist, Scotland, a land renowned for its stormy highlands and ancient clans may be holding genetic clues to this mystery. Before we start, I'm on a road to get 10,000 subscribers as a small channel. If you want to help me, please subscribe. Today, we're asking two questions. What's the story behind hazel eyes genetically, and how does Scottish DNA fit into that story? As we explore the colourful world of human eyes, we'll uncover the threads of ancient migrations, Viking invasions and unique gene combinations that make up Scotland's rich genetic heritage and possibly your own. Could your hazel eyes be a window into the Celtic past? Let's find out together. Scotland's DNA is anything but simple. While many people think of Scots as a single group with red hair and fair skin, the genetic reality is much more complex and ancient. Genetic studies reveal that the Scottish population is made up of multiple ancestral layers, including the Celts, Picts, Norse, Gaels, and Anglo-Saxons. Each group brought their own genetic signatures, which shaped the physical traits we see in Scots today. One of the most interesting aspects is how isolated some parts of Scotland remained. The Highlands and Western Isles, like the Outer Hebrides, preserved unique genetic lineages that are rare elsewhere in Europe. Meanwhile, lowland areas saw more gene flow from England and continental Europe. What does this mean for traits like eye colour? It means that Scotland is a living laboratory of genetic diversity. For example, studies have shown that certain eye colour genes are more varied in populations that experience lots of genetic mixing, and that's exactly what Scotland has seen over thousands of years. While blue and green eyes are well known in Scottish ancestry, hazel eyes, often a blend of both, hint at more complex combinations of genetic information passed down through centuries. It's not just about one group or one invasion, but a beautiful mashup of all the peoples who've called Scotland home. And this diverse backdrop gives us the perfect context to understand how hazel eyes might have become more common in Scottish DNA than we might expect. Have you ever wondered why hazel eyes seem to change color depending on the light or what someone's wearing? That's not just your imagination, it's science at work. Hazel eyes are a genetic puzzle involving a mix of brown and green pigmentation and a scattering effect called Rayleigh scattering, which is the same thing that makes the sky look blue. But at the core, it all comes down to melanin, the pigment that gives color to our eyes, skin and hair. Hazel eyes have just enough melanin to look darker than green, but not as dark as brown, creating that golden or coppery shift you can't look away from. From a genetic standpoint, the two key genes that influence eye color are OCA2 and HERC2. These genes don't decide your eye color directly, but they influence how much melanin your body produces in the iris. Higher melanin levels give you brown eyes, while lower levels lead to blue. Hazel lands right in the middle, which is why it's considered a polygenic trait, meaning it's influenced by many genes, not just one or two. In fact, modern research shows that at least 16 different genes might play a role in determining eye color. So what does this mean for Scotland? Given the mix of genetic influences from different waves of migration, Celtic tribes, Norse settlers, Anglo-Saxon neighbours, Scots have inherited a wide palette of these eye-colour genes. That increases the odds of complex outcomes like hazel. So if someone in your Scottish family tree had hazel eyes, there's a good chance it came from generations of blended genetics rather than one direct ancestral line. And that's what makes hazel eyes so special. They're the story of your ancestry told in colour. So how common are hazel eyes in Scotland? While there's no massive survey that breaks down Scottish eye colours town by town, we can piece together the story from broader European data and regional patterns. Across Europe, hazel eyes are less common than blue or brown. But in the UK, especially in areas with Celtic heritage like Scotland and Ireland, hazel eyes show up more frequently than you might expect. In fact, one survey estimated that around 14 to 18 percent of people in the UK have hazel eyes and that percentage may be even higher in certain Scottish regions where genetic mixing was more intense. What's interesting is that hazel eyes often appear in families with both blue-eyed and brown-eyed relatives, reflecting their in-between genetic nature. In Scotland, where many families carry a mix of these traits, hazel eyes can be passed down through generations without always being dominant. 
That explains why someone with two blue-eyed parents might still end up with hazel eyes. It's not magic, it's the quiet work of polygenic inheritance. So while hazel might not be the most visible eye colour in Scotland, it's a genetic whisper passed through centuries of complex ancestry. Imagine standing on the shores of ancient Scotland as waves of people arrive, Celts, Norsemen, Anglo-Saxons, each carrying their own genetic traits, their own stories, their own eye colours. Over thousands of years, these migrations didn't just change the language and culture of Scotland. They reshaped the DNA of its people. The Celts, believed to have originated from Central Europe, brought a genetic makeup that included a higher frequency of lighter eye colours, especially blue and green. Later the Norse, Vikings from modern-day Norway and Denmark, added even more northern European DNA which is also associated with lighter eyes, but crucially they brought new gene combinations into the mix. Then came the Anglo-Saxons from what is now Germany and the Netherlands, further expanding the genetic gene pool. This fusion created the perfect storm for complex eye colours like hazel to emerge. Hazel eyes don't follow a single line of inheritance. They require just the right mix of multiple genes, making them more likely to appear in populations where diverse ancestry is common. And that's exactly what happened in Scotland. Every migration added new genetic possibilities, subtly tweaking the balance of melanin and scattering effects in the iris. That's why hazel eyes might show up unexpectedly, skipping generations or appearing suddenly in families where no one else seems to have them. They are living proof of the genetic blending that's taken place over centuries. So next time you see someone with hazel eyes and Scottish roots, you might just be looking at a legacy of Vikings and Celts written in gold and green. And if you've got hazel eyes yourself, maybe your ancestors were part of that extraordinary blend too. Hazel eyes are more than just a beautiful blend of colour. They're a genetic fingerprint shaped by centuries of human movement, ancestry and chance. In Scotland, a country layered with history from Pictish clans to Viking raiders, the appearance of hazel eyes isn't random. It's the result of countless genetic combinations, mixed and matched over generations by the lives and journeys of our ancestors. Eye colour, especially one as complex as hazel, is never just about appearance. It's a story written into our DNA. And when you add the unique genetic landscape of Scotland into that story, hazel eyes become even more meaningful. They stand at the crossroads of Celtic roots, Norse genes and modern genetic science. So whether you're tracing your ancestry or just curious about your own reflection, remember, hazel eyes in Scotland aren't just rare, they're historical. Before we end, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this deep dive into DNA and ancestry. Let me know in the comments if you or someone in your family has hazel eyes with Scottish roots. I'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.